What's up, Ring Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited to have my guests here. So, uh, uh, as, I had, as I had promised you earlier, I'll be going out a lot. So, I'll be bringing new stories from people. And I hope the stories inspire you. So, with me here, I have my, the Makazis family. They are great people. Pauline will introduce herself. What's up, guys? My name is Pauline of Mokazi's family. Ooh. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to Brins <laughs> for <laughs> channel. My name is Mokazi of Mokazi's Fitness. We are happy to be the first guest on her channel. And guys, it's a vibe. <laughs> okay, guys. I, I, I would love to know how are you feeling now that you are the first, first ever guys I'm hosting on Brin Kenya. How does that make you feel? For me, I'm feeling good because I'm starting to be a celeb <laughs> in a channel that is. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, you know. I'm also happy because I know this channel is going to blow up. So Amen. Next time, I'm, I'm, I'm booking an appointment to have a collab with you. Yeah, that's okay. So, guys, uh, <laughs> that's okay. That's yeah. okay. So, guys, today I'm so excited because, you know, love, love comes, you, you meet, people meet love at various places. There are those who meet love in churches. There are some who meet love My on their roads, on their roads. And then there's a, an amazing story here. The two, these two guys met on Tinder. Actually, I never knew what Tinder was until I saw their story. Are you for sure? For real? Then you want to Google? See, now uh, uh, I, I heard somebody talking about that it was a dating site. It is. Yeah. It is. Guys, if you don't know what Tinder is, Google and comment down here. So at least we, <laughs> we, we tell me. you more. Yeah, we, we help you get your partner there. But... You have to part with some... Yes, dollars. actually now. Now you're supposed okay, to pay. So, yeah. So, uh, guys, when let's start it off this way because this is a disclaimer, and I think it has come when everybody is asking. After now, the Tuko story, mm -hmm. everybody is calling to ask, Are you supposed to be paying? And unfortunately, currently, I think they are charging for reasons I don't know why they are charging. Yeah, or do you, do you know why they are charging? I think it's to filter the, the serious and serious, serious people, people. Yeah. from the serious people. I, we assume, we, we stand to be corrected, guys. Eh? So we assume it's because they're trying to filter out the serious people from the unserious people. So that's a disclaimer. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, love found on Tinder. How was it? How, how, as in, how did you guys start? Like, how did you spot you? I, I believe there are several people who are posted there, so you have to choose the person you want. How did, uh, Pauline, how did you know that Makazi is the one? And Makazi, how did you know that Pauline, <laughs> this fact, girl looks like the type I of woman I wasn't the me. one for her. <laughs> okay. okay. Tell your story. Pauline. Let me not tell your story. Tell your story. <laughs> I just need the one. <laughs> so yeah. guys, I went to Tinder and I was just going to have fun in Tinder. I was just going to be that girl, you know, a fun girl. No strings attached, yeah. no love, no nothing. Just have fun, meet people, interact, and that's all. So that's what was taking me to Tinder. And it was not my first time in Tinder. Yeah. I've been there before, but not looking for love or anything. But now this time around, I was just going to have fun after I felt that I'm not interested in falling in love. Because you know sometimes love is... That's so, cool. yeah. <laughs> so you just go somewhere just to have fun. And when I got to Tinder, it was my... I just downloaded that app that day, I remember. It was some few minutes to lunch time. Yeah. I was going for lunch. So I just decided to download the app. Only when I was swiping the first... I think even there were not so many. After a few swipes, I got another person swiped me. And it told me, you match. You got a match with Rafael Mwakazi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Just to explain how it works, maybe your, your, your people may want to know how it works. Yeah. It's an app whereby you put, everybody puts their profile over there. Yeah. So if you look at someone, the photos and the profile, if you like them, you swipe right. If you don't like them, if their vibe is not, you know, yeah. you swipe left. So you'll swipe left, 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 right. Or right, 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 then left, depending mm -hmm. on the people you are meeting. Then... On the other side, they are also, of course, seeing your profile. Mm. They'll keep on swiping either right or left. So when you swipe someone right, and on the other side, when he, was, he or she was going through there, you know, mm. then they also swiped right. The two of you have matched. Yeah. 
So Tinder normally initiate a conversation just to make sure you guys like you know an, mm. an icebreaker yeah. so it will tinder will send a message to her yeah. like it's me who is sending true, true. you understand yeah hi yeah so then tinder is the one writing hi for her the first yes oh. from me now hi yeah. Yeah. and it does the same from her hi yeah. so you see i'll start hi yeah. then she also hi you yeah. understand yeah. so after that now we take over yeah. and we start chatting yeah. So that was us that Wednesday when now she downloaded oh. that app, yeah. re-downloaded because as she said, she was sure. in it before. Yeah. Me, it was my first time, I was introduced to it by a client friend of mine, a lady as well. Uh, so it was my first time actually to even know what Tinder is. Yeah. So went, downloaded it and I was there, swiping, yeah. swiping, swiping, swiping. Okay, so guys, that's their story of how they met on Tinder. Now, I, I have a question. I, I don't know how you'll take it. Now, after you met on Tinder, obviously, I heard you said you, you, you have, your friend knew about it, right? Yeah. Were you not afraid that, you know, they, there's this stigma that people are pegged on, people who go looking for love on social media. Mm -hmm. Did it ever happen to you or something like that? Uh, like, no. Okay, first of all, you know, Whatever you choose to do online, mm. it's up to you. Mm. It's what you want. Mm. Whatever you want to happen in your life, it's what you want. Mm. If you entertain those people who are like, send me fire photos, send me these, yeah. send me these, or you mm. see someone telling you, send me these so that I give you this, it's all that you want. Mm. If you go there with a non-nonsense business, like mm. I want a person who is so focused, I want a person who is straight to the point, mm. you will definitely get. Yeah. Even right now, if I say this, even a person who just went to that Tinder and decided to pay it and is going there to look for someone they love yeah. or to look for some love, mm -hmm. they will definitely get it if they go straight to the point. True. But if you go there where people are sending you jokes and you're like, you're entertaining them, you know, you're beating mm -hmm. around the bush and this and this, you won't get anything. True. Yeah. Plus, uh, the fact that Tinder is a dating site. It's a social media avenue, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Because we have uh, we have people stalking each other in Facebook. Yeah, true, true. You understand? People yeah. stalk each other. You are there looking and swiping. Yeah. Whenever you see like someone on IG on Instagram, you are there busy trying to see the the videos and all that. Yeah. So you are also stalking this person. Yeah. But you see, you might be stalking someone who is already taken. True. Yeah. You are stalking someone who is not interested in dating. Yeah. So people who are single and are interested interested in dating, they normally like uh, prefer to tell it out that I'm single and mm -hmm. I want to date, yeah. and that's why they go to a dating. Yeah. Dating so it's it, we we should not demonize it like you know. Yeah. It's somewhere whereby all the single people are on one side, all the people yeah. who are interested in a relationship on on one yeah, side, yeah, you understand? Yeah. So I don't know why or who came up with this myth <laughs> that when you go look for love in a dating site, where else are you supposed to look for love? In a funeral? In the church. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, yes, as we met in Tinder, and I think we, I'm a proud, I'm a proud person, yeah. and this is not sponsored, guys. We don't think that at least we are paid by Tinder to do this. In fact, they've never even written an email to us. Yeah. But that's where we met. This was on a Wednesday when we met. Started chatting Wednesday. Just feel hi hi. We didn't say much. <laughs> on Thursday, <laughs> on Thursday, we did the same. Yeah. yeah. Hi hi. I got you know. I I went a step ahead and I was like, Have you eaten lunch? Did I? On Thursday. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Have you eaten lunch and so and so? Yeah. Yeah. That was on Thursday. Yeah. Then at, I think she took forever to reply. And I kept on going back to the Tinder because you see Tinder does not send you a message True. like the way uh, Safaricom or any other yeah, mm. normally sends you a message like mm. you have a message from so and so until you log into the app. That's yeah. when you can yeah. see your messages. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So this time I kept on checking. I kept on logging in to, to check whether she has replied. Yeah. And unfortunately because guy, I, I had like 
four people that I, you know, we, we matched. Yeah, yeah. So when I chat with the rest, they are very quick to respond. But, <laughs> but now this, this one, one, the special one, this one, you chat and you are there waiting. <laughs> I don't know why I kept on waiting for her message that much. And the rest were more beautiful, actually. Yeah, yeah. They were Wait. brown, they were cute. <laughs> you are beautiful. And there's a reason why I was waiting for your message and not their message. You know, I'm that type yeah. of a dengu. Yeah. Not dengu. Guys, uh, if you have a cock, oh, cock as in, oh. you know, the male version of a hen, not the other cock. <laughs> you, you. If you have a cock and you have a snow goose, yeah. if you need to eat lunch, which one will you cook? Cock. The cock, because yeah. it's readily available. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Now these other ladies were readily available. This one was not. Yeah, this now was a snow goose, which is a very rare. <laughs> By the time you're seeing another snow goose, so you'd rather stay hungry and not. Actually, I, went, uh, Pauline, I think Pauline should tell us why she was taking her time. Exactly. Pauline, tell, tell us why. We need to know. Because when I was not interested uh, in falling in love, yeah. he had not told me you want to fall in love with me. <laughs> Nobody tells you. Yeah. Nobody. Okay. But you know the way he was coming, like you know those vibes, like yeah. in high school. I mean, yeah. college people yeah. asking you, "Hi, good morning. Yeah. Have you taken your breakfast?" You're yeah. like, "Yes." Then at four, at around ten, they're like, "Hi, did you take your breakfast?" And they're not even buying you that breakfast. You <laughs> yeah, know, that, yeah, that kind. Yeah, no, yeah. because was that kind of. Hi, how was your morning? You yeah, know, yeah. but he had a vibe, uh, a mature vibe that yeah. is, and him checking me up. You know. You know, okay, you know when you're starting love, I know the very, feeling. very first time, these people keep on calling minute after minute. They text you, I miss you, and you know. <laughs> Have you eaten? But for Mokazi, it was not that. Mokazi was just like, uh, Hi, did you take your breakfast? Are you at work here? Yeah. And another thing I told him, I'm working, so if he doesn't see my response, just be patient because I'm at work. Yeah. So he was patient. So anytime he sends me a message, I would take long. Yeah. before I text back True. yeah and sometimes I wanted to also have that freedom of being me not always following what people want you know there's that notion of people like if I text you you should yeah. reply to me as I yeah you know no I wanted to be that me it's me to control myself it's me to control my feelings it's me to respond at the time I feel like it's not about him it's about yeah. me yeah yeah Okay, but there's something that Paulina said that I uh, I need. We I think we need to talk about it. Like she she felt like she wanted to be herself yeah. without people pushing her to be something. You see, there are times where when you fall in love, like you just met a guy like today, then you tell your friend about it, then she start they start telling me that why aren't you not not yeah, yeah. loving him back or why mm -hmm. not giving him a chance? Yeah. So guys, this is from letting people pushing you push you into. Fall in love and doing crazy, crazy things, then you end up regretting. So, guys, what will you, will you advise somebody as in to get love on Tinder, or what? What, what can you say about it? At least what you are sure. What I can say, at least you are sure. Those people who are in Tinder are ready to be loved. Do you True. understand? Yeah. People out here, you are okay. If if I was to look for love in church, maybe the person I'm looking for love from. Is not ready. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to have like a platform where those people who are ready, yeah. they put themselves in one bucket, yeah. in one WhatsApp group. Yeah. So the, now that's Tinder. So to me, if that is where you can get your love, go for it. If you can get your love in church, mosque, funeral, yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So that was, yeah. So this was. We are still on Thursday. Oh, waited for, the oh, so yeah. there's more. Okay. Waited for yeah. her chat. Yeah. Later, later, later. When now <laughs> she's lunchtime. around Wait. lunchtime, you you text. Yeah. During the one. same day. Yes. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Text back. Uh, then I I replied. I think I was very prompt to reply. <laughs> yeah. Then but she took. Of yes. course. Then she took another ages. Oh. I think by evening that's when you were replying. Yeah. So this is on Thursday. Yeah. We've only chatted three times, yeah. only three. Yeah. Morning when I was getting, you know, lunch time and now dinner. Yeah. Now this is on Thursday. Come Friday, I was like, okay, can we graduate from this app? Because uh -huh. now we are relying on the app to wait for the messages. Yeah. You understand? So you made the first move. Yes. Okay. So I'm like, uh, can you give me your number? Yeah. 
so that I chat you separately from the app. Yeah. She's like, no, oh. you give me yours, I will call you. Yeah. You know, I normally have fear when, you know, have you ever gone for an interview, then you are told, don't we'll call, call us. We'll, we'll call, call you. you. Oh my God, you <laughs> can't even eat. You know, that's a clear indication. Whenever you go and they tell you, don't call us, we'll call you. Yeah. Just know. But I think that's the right the right way for a lady. Yeah. Okay. It's it was safer for her. Yeah. So she was like, uh, no, you give me yours, I will call you. Ooh. So I gave yeah. and waited. How how after how how long did she take? On to? Friday. Yeah. I waited until evening. Until Ooh. at around six. Until around six, that's when she's texting back. From, yeah. from around ten, when you send me. <laughs> You can imagine from 10, yeah. 6 is when she's replying. This is a Friday. Yeah. Now with exchange numbers. I yeah. gave her my number and she hasn't. Cool. Yes. So, cause I, anyway, I don't have a number, so there's no way I'll get in touch with her. So yeah. I'm just waiting. I think I went back to Tinder to try to see whether I'll find you there. And, you know, yeah. you know this guy is God sent because I'm so shocked. You know, if... If I'm the one who was asking for the number and he's not giving me, I would be so quick. No, I would be so quick to go to all his social media <laughs> yeah. handles, like yeah. Facebook, yeah. you know, yeah. and such. But this girl was not smart, so he just relied on the number. number. Did you say I'm not smart? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did I get? Did I just get insulted? No. On live interview. No, that's no, it. babe. I didn't say you. Boy, child, come, come to my rescue. Come to my rescue. But uh, you know, the good thing about wow. you is I didn't say you're not smart in a negative way. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I know you're not a social media person. Mm -hmm. By then, you're not a social media person. So to get more cousins on Facebook was hard. So even his mind couldn't click to go to Facebook and search. That yeah. I could but I never, search and how also when it, your number is on Facebook. Not my number. Uh, even my you know, if you names. have the name, like oh, I get your yeah. name or link like, box. I got him is Raphael Mokazi. Yeah. And I could have gone to Facebook and search all the Raphael Mokazi I could have. You yeah. went. And I Did went, you do that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm this a very good CID. Yeah. So yeah. she went and looked, you know, everything yeah. about me. Mm -hmm. And you know, the names that I had used on Tinder, they're the same, same names I had used on Facebook, yeah. IG. So he could have gone and searched for me in those. Mm -hmm. But then I support you know, her because I, I think I must. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel as in if I want to know something about someone, mm -hmm. I'll go to Korea. I can get to your past, even the ones that you had forgotten about. Exactly. That's what I do. Yeah. So he didn't do that, but mm -hmm. I don't blame him because he's not, he was not a social media person yeah. by then. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, uh, me taking that long was, I wanted to know, you know, other guys, you know, I was chatting with other guys also yeah. on, but I was not giving out my number. Yeah, yeah. The fact that I didn't want to give my number to him as up, not that I was I was buying time or I hated him mm -hmm. or anything. It's just that I wanted to be sure, like, I'm Maybe just from a worse relationship. Mm -hmm. Do I want to take myself very fast to another one or do I want heartbreaks? The most thing I hate currently, not even currently, I hate about dating. The fact that I have to call you, where are you? And you're like, I'm with my boys having some one, two, three. And then <laughs> I call you later, you tell me you want to sleep. Coming to check online, I just get your like... 30 minutes ago, you're online. Yeah. Then I sent you a message of blue tick.